Hello and welcome to the ECHO Site Survey Overview. ESS provides capabilities to plan, survey, and analyze Wi-Fi networks, as well as help alleviate the burden of report generation. Plan allows you to simulate a network for coverage and capacity three-dimensionally. Surveying tests and validates existing Wi-Fi networks or AP on a stick surveys. ESS also helps analyze Wi-Fi performance and optimization based on numerous heat maps. The basic steps for network planning include inserting maps, scaling maps, drawing walls and coverage areas, defining network requirements, placing APs, and optimizing the performance. When planning a network, first we add a floor plan and then we scale it. Now add additional floors as necessary and scale each of them. Once all floors are inserted, we then add them to a building. Using the floor alignment tool, select three alignment points on each floor. Stairwells, elevators, and exterior walls are often used and are common between floors. Next, we draw the walls. In ESS, we have numerous predefined attenuation values. Select the wall type based on the building plans or a physical site walkthrough. Left click to start drawing the wall and right click when you are done. ESS also has attenuation areas where you can designate a region on the map to have a certain attenuation characteristic. This is useful for cubicles, warehouse racks, retail shelving, and more. Coverage areas are then drawn such that the auto planner knows where to place access points. You could draw additional areas within the coverage area to exclude specific regions. These may be bathrooms, parking garages, stairwells, places that you do not want coverage. To save time, I will open an existing project file. There are two methods to place access points. First, we can manually place access points on the floor plan. In ESS, we have almost every AP make and model, and the new ones are added regularly. On the access point sidebar, you can adjust the 802.11 protocol, channel number, channel bandwidth, and more. The second method for placing access points is the auto planner tool. This tool utilizes your defined network requirements to automatically place the access points on the floor plan. Choose an AP make and model, the transmit power, channel bandwidth, and choose the channels of which you would like to design for. The tool will automatically place the access points across the floor plan. The access point sidebar lists all the access points that were placed on the map. To conduct a survey, insert a map, scale the map, choose a survey type, and then left click on the map to start the survey. Walk at a steady pace and move the cursor as you move. Left click again every stop or turn, right click to stop the survey. To start, insert and scale the map. Choose the survey type. Left click on the map to start the survey and walk at a steady pace. Left click at every time you stop or turn. Right click to stop the survey. The survey can be seen on the sidebar under the survey tab. With stop and go survey, left click on the map where you stand and wait for the measurements to be taken. Move to another location and left click. When you're done with the survey, right click to stop the survey. On the sidebar, you could classify each survey as primary or secondary, and you could also delete them. I'm now going to open up an existing survey file. This is an example of a survey file taken with continuous scan. From here, you could view the various heat maps to discover the performance of the network. If you wish to dive deeper into the measured data, 
At any instantaneous point along the survey path, you can review the measured data from the various NICs. You could also step along the path and choose which NIC you're viewing. ESS gives you insight into the performance of your Wi-Fi network. By comparing your defined network requirements to the various heat maps, you can optimize or validate your network. We begin by defining the coverage requirements. You could use predefined network profiles or customize your own profile. If you are designing for capacity as well, define the capacity requirements by adding the number and type of devices. Now we take a look at the visualizations. Network issues is a good place to start as it identifies any requirement that fails. In this example, we see there are several areas that fail for signal strength. So let's look at the signal strength heat map. In this area, we can see that it fails for signal strength. With this knowledge, let's try to add an access point. Because we added an access point, we may have caused additional channel overlap. We can adjust the AP channel from the sidebar. We can see by changing the channel there was an improvement in channel overlap. We can further try to reduce the overlap by adjusting the transmit power. Now if we go back to network issues, we can see there was an improvement. Now let's move on to capacity of health to see if we meet the requirements and capacity clients per AP to see if any AP has too many clients. Network optimization is often an iterative process that requires you to tweak the design multiple times. ESS offers automatic report generation to save your time making tedious manual reports. There are two report types, basic reporting and customizable template-based reports. First, we will show you an example of report generation. You could select your own cover image, then choose the floors you want to report and the heat maps as well. Select the paper size and whether to output it as a Word file or PDF. Give the report a name and file destination and then hit OK. The report will be outputted with a generic cover page in your cover image. Each floor will be presented with the various heat maps and a brief description accompanying them. Towards the end of each floor, there will be a table with a list of access points in the network. Now let's take a look at template-based reports. When the window opens, there is a link to the ECHOW wiki page. Here, it will help you walk you through the coding principles and terminology needed to design your own template-based report. First, we will choose a template to build the report from. Choose a file directory, name the file, and generate the report. The resulting report will be outputted to Word based on the custom report template. In this file, you can see the differences from the previous basic report in the way the requirements, coverage area, and APs are presented. The heat maps are also divided between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Now let's take a look at the template itself to see what is done behind the scenes. Here you can see some of the coding that was performed. For more information on ECHO Wi-Fi tools, please visit our website, read our blog, find our training resources, and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you and we hope you enjoy our Wi-Fi tools.